the weapons. Collective Edge. Welcome to the Weapons Collective Edge. Today I am going to go over a couple of garage sale knives I've got. I've got this Rapala fillet knife, came in a nice sheath, nice box, and then I got this Native American looking Indian knife, nice dagger, and beautiful sheath. But I got both of these at a garage sale, about $17 a piece, which was a great deal. I'm going to go over some of the stats and go over what everything included. So, but I'll catch you in a minute on that and we'll go over the rest. The fillet knife I'm going to go over first is the Birch and Salmon Rapala Collector's Fillet. Stainless steel blade made in Finland. And it has a 7 and 3 8 length blade. And I believe, like say, the handle they say is birch it's a curly birch obviously it has a salmon head on the pommel there the tail of the knife and it came in this nice box so that is pretty cool and this has a little bit of metal somewhere in there you can hear it so I'd be careful putting them back in I don't have any problem with it yet uh, the knife is pretty sharp still. I'll show you here. That is right from the garage sale. So I didn't do any sharpening on this. That came that sharp. That might have not been used. This knife, as far as I can find, retails for around $191. So for a $17 find, this was an excellent find. And... Uh, I will think that this will make a very, very good fillet knife. It does have the flexibility here. And other than that, you know, it's a beautiful knife. I want to say it's overpriced, but you get what you pay for it is quality. And I do believe that, you know, because it's a collector's edition, it's something that it's sought after. So that's why you're seeing that price range. Like I said, I would probably never buy it myself, but at a garage sale, I'll surely pick that up. But that was the fillet knife. I got a nice little sheath. It does go all in and fit pretty tight. Not that you normally are carrying your fillet knife unless you're out in the country, you know, camping and you're going to use it. But normally you're at home finishing up that fillet. But that's that knife. Again, came in the box. Beautiful thing right there so that's the fillet knife so this is the uh, Plains Indian dagger it is United cutlery so the quality on it isn't bad it's kind of blocky in the hand uh, it has some nice rivet work or pins and it is made in China the UC 1440 is the number on it this one is 420 stainless steel and uh, as far as sharpness I've got one side pretty bad the other side yeah, not much better so it's a little on the dull side coming here you can slide it through not terrible I mean I'm got it at a garage sale I'm not sure how much use it got but it is United cutlery the sheath though is beautiful that's got a lot of nice bead work. Um, I believe it was hand done. Not sure by who. Like I say, Plains Indian. But United Cutlery made in China more than likely not a Native American. And it sort of fits in the sheath. It's somewhere down there. So there. It's just a pretty sheath and a decently pretty knife. We're looking at about, I believe, I got between $60 and $80 what I could find for that knife online. Not as quality as the Rapala, but a nice knife for $17 versus $80. But uh, this blade, let me check here. 
looking at a seven inch blade 12 and a quarter overall and I'm guessing if I got mine I don't have my calipers oh, yeah, there they are there we go just a second here I will get you a full thickness at the tang we are looking at about almost 200,000 so just just over 3 sixteenths not bad the tip is much thinner you can see there we're about uh, yeah we're about a hundred on the tip so it tapers down eh, a decent dagger I mean it's a decent dagger but uh, I'll put up a link if I can find one to it and it's just as far as beauty it's nice not super sharp out of the box and it could be sharpened but the bevels on it they're they're pretty thick but you know dagger wise makes it a little stronger so that was my garage sale finds. I thought I'd put up a video to show you what you can possibly find out at a garage sale at a good cheap price that uh, save you some money and a cool find. But those are those two. And uh, so anyways, I hope to see you again and uh, keep shopping.